So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel in about 10 minutes. It's really easy. And I'm also going to show you how to set it all up. So the basic steps. So if you want to know how to do that, keep watching. So of course, the first step is to create a Gmail email address. So I've gone to Google. I've just typed into the search area here. Google Gmail sign up. That's what I'm going to do. Create your Google account, sign in. Okay. So if you are doing this for the first time, do the same thing, fill out the form and then create your Gmail account with Google. It's very easy. So I've just filled out the first part of the form. And now I'm going to click on next step. I agree. So I'm going to go to the box over here with the little tiny boxes and just click on that and then click on YouTube. All right, it's asking me to sign in again, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to go to my channel, so my channel over here. I'm just going to say yes for now, and I'm going to create channel. So this is how easy it is to create a YouTube channel. So if you want to add a profile picture, click here, click edit, upload photo, okay, and then click done. Voila, this is how to change your profile picture. It may not show immediately, but eventually it will. So if it doesn't show, don't panic. Now add channel art. The recommended channel art size is 2560 by 1440. Be mindful of that. And the maximum file size is four megabytes. I'm just gonna check my computer. We're just gonna add something here. So the photo has been uploaded. If you want to upload a video, you click on the arrow pointing upwards, you click on select file to upload, and then you choose the appropriate video from your computer. I'm just going to click on this one here. It's a small file, so upload fairly quickly. So any modifications that you want to make to your channel, this is where the magic happens. So video manager, click on video manager, and then here where it says channel, so this is the area where you can monetize your videos. In another video, I'll show you how to do that if you want to learn how to do this or click the link in the description box. You can upload your defaults and this is very useful. It's public, that's great. You can choose the category. So I'm going to say education, title, don't really need that. Anything I write here in the description area will always show on all of my videos. So this is really useful. And I'm just going to add my Facebook link here. Boom. You can add Instagram, your blog, whatever you want to add, any kind of links. You can also add any kind of information that you want people to know about. And that will always show underneath all of your videos in the description box. Um, another thing I recommend is tags. If you are, for example, doing educational videos and all of your videos are educational, then you can put that here as a tag. So YouTube knows that this is what your channel is about and people are much more likely to find your videos. You can also go video in here, for example, how to, if you're doing how to videos, if you're doing gaming, then I will put that here. Once you're happy with your defaults, save. So now that you have completed your default settings, I'm just going to take you through this left hand side bar very quickly. The dashboard area is where you can find out statistical information about how long people are watching your videos for, how many views in total in the last 28 days, and how many subscribers you have. Let me show you on my channel. And as you can see, it's loaded with information, watch time, um, views within the last 28 days, how many subscribers, and also the estimated revenue that I'll be making from the last 28 days. The next place is video manager. This is probably one of the most important parts because this is where you can edit all of your videos. I'm just going to publish this video here. And now my video is showing here and it is public. It's not monetized yet, but it's public. So if you have uploaded a video, you click on edit. I highly, highly recommend that when you are publishing your video, the title contains all of the keywords from your video. So for example, this video is all about a vegan challenge. So you want to have that in the title, 14 day vegan challenge. In the description, you want to have the same. So learn. And then you want to have the keywords in your tags, learn, um, plant based, you know, any kind of keywords that are relevant to your video, really. 
Once you've done all of the modifications, save settings. Next thing is live streaming. So this is if you want to go live and chat with people live while you're doing YouTube. Community, if you click on community, this is basically the area where people leave their comments and you can reply to people's comments. For example, if I go to community here on my channel, as you can see, it's loaded with comments and then you can reply. And then channel is where, of course, I mentioned before, you can link your channel to AdSense. So other things that you can modify on your channel is, for example, channel description, tutorials about YouTube and website. And then once you're happy, click done. So once you've uploaded your first video, what I recommend is clicking on this tire icon and then customize the layout of your channel and save. For new visitors, click on that and then you can select this particular video that you uploaded or any video you want. You can select that as a trailer to play whenever a new visitor comes to your channel. So let's do that now. Yes, we want this video because that's all we have. And then in this area here, we can add sections to our YouTube channel just to make it more organized. As you can see, there are many sections. I have the upload section, popular upload section, YouTube and video section. So I highly recommend that. Let's just add one of those. Let's go with uploads, horizontal, done. So there you go. Then you can also do popular uploads. So let's add another section and we can go to popular uploads and done. So if you want to add your links, so Facebook, your blog, um, your Instagram links, whatever. What you do is like I've just shown, you click on this here on this pencil looking icon on the top here, click on edit links, you scroll down and then here you add, you can only have five. Well, actually, yeah, just five. So click on add and then you can go to, just gonna put Facebook, type here the description of the link and then here you can paste the link. I'm going to put my Facebook link here. Then you can add another one. So maybe we can put here Instagram. Let's delete that, delete that. Done. Okay, so we've got our Facebook link and that's now showing here. So you can add a lot more links here. So this is how to set up your basic YouTube channel. I hope you found this useful. Just the last word, if you want to know how to link your YouTube channel to AdSense and actually make money from your videos, then watch the video in the description box. And also, oops, I got to put that in there. <laughs> if you need more one-on-one -on -one business coaching or health coaching as well, because I do that too, then check out my website naturalvita.net. And um, if you want to create your own book, I also have a detailed course on my website where I show you step-by-step -step how to create your own ebook or paperback and how to market it to a wide audience. Okay, having said all that, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.